What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my review of the Atop Sky Dreamer Plus YD829. This is the quad here. I just want to start off uh, by saying that this quad here is all the way awesome. I'm just going to cut the chase and get straight to it. This thing is all the way awesome. Uh, this quad flies really nice. It holds a really still hover. Uh, first, first off, I just want to say that I saw this that it was it had uh, three blades on the props, and I found that when three bladed props are added to uh, little the ones like the Hubsons, the X4s, that size quad, uh, it usually hampers the quad. Uh, it, it takes a hit in battery life, uh, flight performance. Everything is takes a hit. However, I I had the SkyTech M61. This little guy here, um, the canopy here is kind of beat to hell. But I have a nice, decent canopy floating around here somewhere. My son or either my cat liked it so much that they ran off with it, and I haven't been able to locate it. But anyhow, this quad here is a really awesome flyer. Um, and it has three three bladed props on it, and it flies really nice. I mean it it actually flies better with the three bladed props than it does with normal props. Cause I uh, tested it with the props from the uh, JXD flying car, and this thing flies a lot better and a lot stronger with the three bladed props. And so, what's the difference? So the difference I think lies here um, in the gear wheel. Uh, because the Sima X5C comes with, well, you can get uh, three bladed props for it, but it takes a hit in performance as well because the gear wheels on the uh, Sima X5C are large gear wheel wheels, and so they're made to support the uh, the sink the two bladed props, and so putting uh, three bladed props on it is probably the equivalent of putting the three bladed props on the Hubson X4 or whatnot. But this thing, it has nice little gear wheels in there, uh, which the smaller the gear wheel, the faster uh, the motor will be able to turn this and the faster these uh, three bladed props will spin and the better this thing will fly. And which is why this thing flies and flips really well. Uh, it it's really stable. It hardly even loses altitude during its flips. Now, this thing, I I had a feeling that it was going to be the same way, uh, because they you know it's made for the three bladed props. And sure enough, it does have a, a nice uh, sized gear wheels on it. Maybe a little uh, larger than the. Uh, the gear wheels that's on this thing here these may be a, just a tiny a tad bit larger but this thing also has larger three bladed props they're a little bit bigger than uh the ones that's on the skytech m61 so this thing flies really nice uh with the three bladed props it doesn't take a hit in performance actually i've tested this with the um the two bladed props from the uh the uh jxd flying car and this actually flies better with the three bladed props as well. So this thing flies really stable. It's really fast. It doesn't uh, take any type of hit in performance uh, by having the three bladed props as uh, per my test with the two bladed props on it. Uh, it flips really well. Actually, it, it gives itself height before the flip. So I call that uh, cheating kind of, <laughs> but that's what it does. Um, this thing is just a really nice flyer. The yaw rate is really fast on it. And what surprised me is that this thing controls really precise, even with the fast yaw rate. Um, it's like you can reach every point in between of fast and slow on the yaw. And so it makes this thing a really a nice flyer. It's really a joy to fly because you can... Uh, fly it really nice and precise and the yaw rate's fast you can do nice pirouettes and funnels uh fast tight <laughs> this thing is just awesome it has uh nice leds on it uh, the leds on the bottom and they actually glow through the top as well but not so much 
uh, but you can see the red LEDs really well uh, through the top of my the model that I have. I don't know. It comes in different colors as well, but I don't know about those. I know that um, when you're dealing with different colors uh, of the body, it affects the LED lighting. So uh, the one that I have, it shows up through the top and all. Uh, I really like the way it's designed, and I really like the size of it. It's about the same size as the uh, Skytech M61. And just for comparison, uh, the Huying Toys Y2015 is a pretty small quad. It's, it's a little smaller than a Sima uh, X5C. And uh, this Sky Dreamer is even smaller than that. So just so you can pretty much see size comparison. Let me see, this is this is the Blade Nano QX3D. Size comparison. So it's pretty small, but not as small as the uh, Hubson X4s and uh, Huying Toys HY853 or Lightning UFO. This is the Hubson here. So, yeah, this thing is a really nice flyer. Um, these uh, landing, the landing gear come off uh, pretty easily. Just pull off and you just snap them back on. Uh, it comes with a nice size battery. The battery is a 380 milliamp hour battery. Um, it, it flies really nice with it. But however, this battery bay is uh, pretty large. And I was able to fit up to a 600 milliamp hour battery uh, that I had that came with my Huying Toys X6050. So, and also I did a, I did a little mod to it though. I usually don't mod before the um, <laughs> before the uh, review, but I just thought this mod was really useful because it doesn't have an on and off switch. That's one of the the only things that I have that I can say that's negative about it. Uh, if you can really say that that's negative, yes, yeah, a negative. It doesn't have an on and off switch. So once you put the battery inside, uh, you have to connect it, and then you're losing time, flight time. You know the it, the quad's on actually uh, once you're and you're trying to close this battery bay. So what I did was I just made two uh, little spaces here on the outside of the battery cover so that uh, the wires I can put the battery in, and the wires can just stick out of the uh, battery bay when you close it like that and then you can connect it just before you're ready to fly so I did that and that I didn't have to do that actually to fit the 600 milliamp hour battery in there I just did that uh, for convenience I thought that was a, a a nice little mod by quadcopter 101 shout out to quadcopter 101 for that mod it's a really nice mod that I tend to use now uh, so uh, flight times I've tested this with uh, a 350 uh, milliamp hour battery that I got with the uh, Skytech M61. And this is the battery here. It's a 350 milliamp hour battery. And I just flew it around, did a uh, little hovering and circuits indoors. And I was able to fly it for 7 minutes and 25 seconds. And so then I have these 500 milliamp hour batteries that I got there made for the Hubson and they fit inside there and I was able to get eight minutes and 59 seconds of flight time and at uh, nine minutes and five seconds uh, it went it started to land after the LVC and the 600 milliamp hour battery uh, from the Huying Toys X6050 I was able to get 13 minutes and 13 seconds <laughs> with it and it was 11 seconds before it actually started to land so it was a pretty nice LVC uh, warning yeah it has a nice LVC warning but it tends to change depending on what size battery you have in it uh, with the stock battery it's fairly short the LVC warning the time that you have to land it it almost lands uh, maybe I say five seconds later it'll start trying to land uh, with the 500 milliamp hour battery and uh, the 600 milliamp hour battery, it you seem to get more time to uh, land it after the LVC warning kicks in. 
uh, I think I put up a video where uh, I had a 500 milliamp hour battery in and I was outside in the listerine cold and, and the LVC kicked in and I had a, a pretty substantial amount of time uh, to just fly this thing around uh, after the LVC warning kicked in. Uh, but the cold does do uh, weird things with batteries so uh, I'm just going to say that the LVC warning is okay with this. Uh, from my indoor testing and let me see what else oh my version of it did come with a, with the camera uh, the camera is a 2 megapixel camera uh, the video quality is is okay it's HD it can shoot in uh, 720p uh, however uh, there's no dampener or anything on it so you're going to get a little uh, vibration from the, uh, the prop spinning uh, which you know, makes the video a little bit uh, shaky. It's, you know, a little jello effect when you're looking at the video. I will put up a little sample of the video that I've uh, take, taken with this to test it. Um, the transmitter here, let's look at the transmitter. The transmitter is a nice transmitter, actually. Uh, it feels really nice in hand. Uh, it's all white and red, as you can see. I like red, and I like the white as well. Uh... The battery bay it takes uh, four uh, AA batteries, and you, it has uh, three rates. Uh, you start off in 40% rates. You hit this, and it'll go to 70% rates, and one more time, and it'll go to 100% rates. And uh, this thing has headless mode also, and the headless mode on this quad is really nice. The headless mode, uh, you hit it. You hit this uh, right shoulder button here to activate it. And you don't, you just hear two beeps come from uh, this um, to let you know that you're in headless mode. But other than that, it doesn't continue to beep. And I, I really like that because sometimes that bleeping from the uh, transmitter when you're in headless mode on other quads can be uh, quite annoying. So uh, I think that's a nice feature that you hear the uh, two beeps uh, from the uh, transmitter and then it just goes into headless mode. And so you're in headless mode. It's not beeping or anything. And the headless mode works really well. The yaw rate is fast. So it looks nice when you're pirouetting. When you're doing head, uh, flying in headless mode. So it looks really nice. Um, you can control the camera. Uh, with the transmitter. This, this button here. Has a little video camera on it. You hit that and you can start the video. But you have to remember to press it again to stop the video in order to save it correctly. And then you can take still shots with this button here with the camera on it. Uh, these buttons over it, all of the other buttons down here are actually fake. And I think that uh, the version, if you get the version without the camera on it, all of these buttons are going to be fake. Uh, so it's better, I guess, to get the version with the uh, camera so you can get the nicer transmitter. If you can call it nicer, it has uh, just two extra buttons. It has all your trims on here. This is a left and right flying trim and forward and back pitch uh, trim. This is the yaw trim and it even has a, a throttle trim on it. Uh, so pretty nice transmitter. It feels nice in the hand and it works really well. Um, let me see. It comes with uh, uh, four uh, props. Uh, guard, four prop guards for the props and you can see what it looks like back here on the uh, box it looks really nice with the uh, prop guards on and they only give you uh, two extra props with it uh, and they're white ones uh, so I immediately took the white props and uh, put them in the front um, I think that's the way it's supposed it should be anyhow but <laughs> for some reason the the uh, white props were in the back and the orange ones were up the front. So I, sw I swapped them, put them the other way. Also, I opened this thing up and uh, unfortunately, the the motors in here are not plug and play. They're soldered to the board. However, they are 7 millimeter motors. So I was happy about that because the Skytech M61 didn't have 7 millimeter uh, motors. Uh, it had some uh some odd size motor uh they were short motors uh but that's a really nice thing about this that i found out uh the camera can the camera screws on uh, i have the screws over here the the camera screws on to the bottom uh, so it's 
uh, attached to this battery door uh, via screws. And then you just plug the uh, connector inside this little uh, socket here to get the camera started. Uh, to take some footage with the camera. And uh, let's see. Is there anything I'm forgetting about this? Quad? Oh yeah, the camera comes with a 2 megapixel uh, memory card. And it also comes with a card reader. Uh, so you can uh, plug it into your computer and view the footage that you uh, shoot with it. And so, oh yeah, the protocol that this is on. This is on the same protocol as the CG023. Except for the, the side flying channels are reversed. So, uh, I don't know what's the name of that protocol. Uh, that's the only thing I was able to bind this thing to. And so this thing is a really nice flyer. So let's go check it out. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention about this quad uh, is its power management. Uh, the programming in this thing is really nice. Uh, it seems when you when you're changing between speeds, it's actually limiting the uh, the uh, throttle. So when you're in forty percent rates. Uh, it'll only let you rise but so fast and when, when, if you're hovering and you hit this button to go into 70% rate you can see the power just jump up because the quads try to rise on you and you you go to 100% rates it just tries to uh, fly up so you can see the power management in it and I also noticed that when you plug this camera when you have the camera plugged in and you're flying around it flies as normal but once you activate the camera it limits your pitch it doesn't let you pitch really fast it doesn't let your yaw it slows down your yaw rate it slows down your uh your throttle your uh throttle going up and so it it kind of dummies down your flight performance in order to get better more stable uh footage and so i thought that was really uh cool about it and so let's go check out the flight demo Okay, so this is the flight demo for the review of the Atop YD-829. I have got the transmitter. We're going to start off on low rate. So this is the pitch on low rate. Not much pitch. The yaw rate is fast though. The yaw rate stays the same, I believe, on all three rates. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because we're out in the cold it's really cold out here so i know the battery's not going to last long it's the yaw rate on second rate intermediate and this is the uh pitch so they give you a little more pitch and just enough to fly uh decent circuits with it now we're on high reach same fast yaw and high pitch rate So now this thing will fly fast now. Uh, it's really maneuverable with all the pitch that you get with it. Do nice funnels with it. Let's check out the flips. Now, I, at first I didn't know how to do flips. And I figured out that you have to press the right stick in to do flips. And it gives itself elevation before the flip. So it flips nice. So this thing's a nice fly. The LEDs are nice and bright. I did a couple night flights with it. Let's see, oh yeah, it has headless mode. Let's check out headless mode. The headless, mer the headless mode works pretty well. All in all, this is a really nice flyer. This thing is awesome. Uh, the controls are really precise with it. You can do wide funnels with it. Nice banking turns. And then watch the funnels will get smaller. This thing will actually spin around on one motor. 
a pretty awesome flyer. I'm going to bring it in now before the battery just dies. <laughs> in the cold, it seems when the battery dies, when the uh, LVC kicks in, it's really short. Uh, there's not much time to get it back to you in the cold. It's a totally different uh, LVC one, and it seems. So also with this, when you switch between the rates, it seems to limit the throttle as well. So you, know, you weren't able to see that, I'm pretty sure, here outdoors because of the wind and all the other factors. But indoors, you definitely can see it. So pretty nice flyer. I'm pretty happy with this one. This one definitely is a keeper. I'll uh, show a little of what it can, its camera can do. It does come with a camera. So I'll do a little flying with the camera on, do some video recording, see what the quality looks like. I myself haven't tested it yet, actually, so I'll just post it up so you guys can see. Just having fun with this thing. <laughs> I decided to just slide into LVC warning, I guess. What the heck? We see one in there, so let me get it back to me. Yep, how we see one. So that's it. The hat top YD 829. Thanks for watching.